Here we have the fraction 3 elevenths. Let's convert it into all the different forms. We can use proportions. Long division. Estimation. and a visual model to get a better understanding of what 3 11th is in other forms. Let's start with long division. I know I'm dividing 3 by 11, 3 divided by 11, so 3 goes underneath the long division symbol, 3 divided by 11. It's the only thing that I can think of that goes from right to left in mathematics in terms of seventh grade math, going from right to left. So you have to remember that three divided by 11 is three divided by 11. Does 11 go into three? It does not. So I record that zero. 11 goes into three zero times. Zero times 11 is zero. I'm left with three. Now I can put a decimal point after the three and add a placeholder zero bring down that zero to form 30. 11 goes into 30 twice, okay? But not two whole times. It, two is not representing the ones place. Two is representing the tenths place. So I need to remember that this decimal point needs to be brought to the top of the division long division symbol as well, okay? So two times 11 is 22. I have eight left over. 11 does not go into 8, so I bring down another placeholder 0. 11 goes into 80 7 times. 7 times 11 is 77. I get 3 again, okay? I'm starting to think that this is going to form a pattern. If I subtract 22 away, I'll get 8 again, and then 11 goes into 87 times, so yes, this will start repeating. So I have a repeating decimal, 0 0.27 repeated. I can use this hat to indicate that the 27 is repeating, or I can use an ellipses to indicate that the 27 is repeating, okay? Now, what does that look like in a proportion? Well, when it's repeating, it's not going to be a very nice proportion because there's not a simple number that multiplies 11 to get 100. So if we did do this, it would end up being 27.27 repeated in a proportion form, okay? We can estimate that 3 11 is going to be close to 3 tenths, and 3 tenths as a decimal is 0.3, and you can see that 0.27 would round up to 0.3. So that's an estimation tool to help you check, did I do this correctly? For instance, if you had accidentally set up the long division without the three underneath and you did the three outside, this could be a great estimation tool to catch your mistake. You would first say three goes into 11, three full times, subtract nine, get two, bring down the zero, 20, three goes into 26 times, and you get something like 3.6, and you would recognize, oh, I did something wrong, because 3 elevenths is close to 3 tenths, and 3 tenths is not close to 3.6. On a double number line, or in a ratio table, you can divide your visual up into 11 pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then shade in three of those. Okay, again, that's close to 30%, but it's really actually 27.3%, about. If we had a negative sign in front of the entire fraction, just the 3 or just the 11, all of these would turn to negative. So 
negative 3 elevenths is negative 27.27 out of 100, or negative 3 tenths, or negative 27.3%, or negative 0.27 repeated.